welcome back to another video um yeah i was not expecting this to turn up just as i thought i had settled on the four boards that i was going to add to my collection someone contacted me and said i'm building a new skateboard can you review it and uh, here it is so this is the Ar Ares X1 and it's brought to you by a company called Ace Deck. Um, now I'm sure you're asking already who the hell are Ace Deck. So this is a new company uh, combined of a group of people with 10 years combined Eastgate experience and they were looking to fill that kind of sweet spot so either a board off the shelf isn't quite what they wanted and then there was the massive DIY component expense and they're looking to find this kind of like perfect middle ground and build the board that they want to ride. So all of this was donated by ASTEC. It turned up just a couple of days ago. Um, had a quick peek in the top box, but everything else is still pretty sealed up. Um, so yeah, like I said, donated by ASTEC. They just asked me to review it. They haven't given me any paid review or told me what to say. This is gonna be my own opinion. So I guess, let's crack the boxes open and have a look what's inside. As usual, I forgot to bring a knife to the studio. Let's get the cup of tea out of the way. You skate shop, get your mug. All right, so this is the first box and this is an accessory box. Let's have a look. And what you get in the box? <laughs> well packaged. Good shot. All right. Oh, it smells. It smells like factory as well. It's all very new. Okay, what do you get in the box? We'll start at this end. We have what looks like a bash cut. Let's open it up. Yeah. Struggle, struggle, that's always a struggle. Three pieces of a bash guard. Um, this is obviously to protect your motors. And we've got some mountain screws. And the plates to fit the bash guard. Can you actually see inside this box? I don't want to tip everything out. I'll do an overhead shot. Um, all right, moving on. We've got the, this is this is spare grip tape. I'm not sure how happy you'd be if you bought grip tape like this. Um, it seems to be one. Two, two spare grip tapes, I'm not sure. It's it's super thin, very flimsy. Um, I know this is first edition. I think if you just had two bits of grip tape, put them in the box on the top, rather than shit them like that, that would be great. Um, yeah. Let's leave that. It's a bit messy. Next up we have whoa, two actually two tires um, with tubes and belts. So we've got two spare tires, two spare tubes and four spare belts, which is super oh, yeah, super generous. See a lot of boards coming with nothing these days. Um, really nice for people to include some extras. Okay, moving on. Fake tread lights. Moving on. Oh. These are the street wheels for the board. These are 115 mil wheels. Check these out. They're super rubbery, unlike usual wheels. They have these holes in them. They feel 
super squishy. I'll try and cut some close-ups in. It's a slight concave, convex, concave, concurve. <laughs> There's a slight curve to the wheel. Um, I'd quite like to see them flat, maybe when you're on them. They'll flatten out, oh gee, they probably will flatten out a little bit because they're super rubbery and super grippy. I think if they were a bit flatter, they'd be so grippy. More on resistance, I don't know. Looks like a Kegel fit or a Kegel style. I don't know yet. Oh. So gears included as well. All bearings are already in the board. So yeah, these just pop straight in. I guess, oh, I'm guessing then these are the street belts. These will be the street belts, um, not spare AT belts. So we've got four belts. We've got four gears. So you know already this is gonna be a four wheel drive board. Very, very generous box of extras. So I think the first people to buy the board are gonna get the box and then the box will be sold as um, a set of extras as an option. I guess some people don't want the street kit, which is fair enough. Um, maybe you don't want the bash guard or the fake shred lights. Um, all right, let's move on to the board. All right, let's move on to the best bit. This is, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is the box it comes in, as usual. Got to bring a knife to the studio. Keys it is. It's so heavy. Oh my god, this better be all batteries. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't hard. So here it is, in its upside down glory. Ace deck. Open the new world. Okay. Okay. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. So this, this isn't just a picture. It's actually mouse mat material. This is a full desk mouse mat of your entire board. Their trucks, battery, wheels, and then get like an opaque view of the whole inside of the board. <laughs> That's super cool. I really like that. Right then. There we go. Wow. It's looking really nice. Oh, wow. Okay, ah, and we've got a bash card on one end already, so. First impressions, bloody heavy. Let's put this down and finish off the box first. Ace hey, deck, open the new world. I like that. Quick start guide always make you different. So in the box there's lots of cutouts I guess where if they wanted to just put spare wheels, tires, street wheels, teeter etc in here. There's cutouts already for that. Cutout shape of a remote. Aha. So look, that is a chunky remote. It looks Kind of Meepo ish. Ah, it says hello. We'll go over the remote in a lot more detail in the ride video. Charger. This feels very light. With a fan. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Come on! This is a three amp charger. I thought it felt really light. Um, so this board's got a big battery. I'll go over that in a bit. Um, three amps. Three amps is not going to cut it. Couple of Allen keys. Pretty cool. 
that's better than the usual kind of crap that you get. I like that. Oh, wow. And more spare belts. Spare AT belts. Brilliant. And we have remote charging cable. Euro plug. American plug. Another plug. No UK plug. <laughs> Welcome to Brexit land. This is the bit you want to see. So the board. Looks quite nice. I think I've got a demo model, a couple of scuffs on it, but you know, not going to complain about that at all. Oh, wow. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, this board comes in at just over one meter. I think it's an extra 50 mil or something like that. It's pretty standard for a long board, plenty of room to get your feet on there. It seems to have quite a pronounced W concave on the deck. Um, the grip tape actually feels, feels okay once it's on the board. I think that stuff that was rolled up in the packet felt really flimsy, but actually once it's on, it feels super grippy really nice Ace Tech logo on it as well. I'll cut some B-roll in for this. Ah, oh, this stuff. I'm gonna pick it up. All right, the board. As you've probably noticed, it's carbon fiber. This is T700, the 3K carbon fiber and forged carbon fiber. All the way around. It doesn't have a plastic bottom. Unlike some other boards out there, this is carbon fiber all the way around the deck. Um, it still weighs in at just over 18 kilos, and you've probably noticed that already. This is really heavy. Um, if I can get on the tube with it in London, I'll give it a go, but uh, they're getting a bit strict about electric stuff at the moment, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to blag the fact that this is a normal skateboard. Uh, let's get the quoted specs out of the way first, then we'll cover them properly in another video. So the quoted speed for this is 60 kilometers an hour, which is about 37 miles an hour. Um, enough for a skateboard. It does look pretty sturdy. It looks really good actually. I think 37 on this would be all right. Quoted range for this is 45 kilometers in four wheel drive. Um, because I've got the four wheel drive board, I'm going to quote the specs for four wheel drive. And if there is different specs for the two wheel drive, I'll pop them up on the screen. The four wheel drive quoted range is 45 kilometers, which is 28 miles on the eight inch ATs. Uh, this was a rider, I think 75 or 77 kilos. Um, so we will get out and do a 100 kilo rider real world range test at some point. I'll try and get out next week for that one. There is no quoted range for the street wheels yet, so at some point I'll pop those rubber wheels on and we'll get out and we'll do another range test, see how it does on those. Hill climb capability 40%. This is gonna eat up hills. I mean, I cannot wait to try this out. I took the four wheel drive Atlas out on one of the Evolve Group rides and we went up a really big hill in this park and all the GTRs slowed down. The Atlas just whizzed up there and this I think it's gonna do the same it's not even gonna know it's hitting a hill and um, quote with max load is 120 kilos you know this will probably this will probably do a lot more than that but I guess you're gonna start affecting your range quite a lot so the charge time on this is it, can we see the charge port On button, on button. Huh. That's weird. Is that a charge port? I think that's the charge port on the top. How cool is that? It's so annoying when boards have their charge ports hidden down the back somewhere and really fiddly. If that's a charge port, well done. I like that. Um, charge time for this is six to seven hours. 
there's no gonna there's gonna be no stopping to recharge on this board it's gonna be ride it kill it and then take it home there's no way you're sitting around in a coffee shop waiting for this to get a bit more charge on the 3 amp charger um, I do think this board could do with a, at least four I mean four that's like 33 percent extra Imagine knocking a third off your charging time just by adding that one extra hour, four at a minimum, five maybe. Um, I'll have a word with the guys at Ace Deck. I know they were particular about looking after their baby. I know they really wanted to look after the battery pack, but you know, come on, three amp, no way. This, the foot placement for this feels really, really good. Um, and also, like when I used to ride my GTR and you hit bumps and your foot would slowly start travelling forward, unless of course you've got a foot stop from East Dot Shop. Um, it feels like this will really stop your foot going forward. And also sometimes I like to like hang my foot right over the edge to get a bit of weight on a good turn. And um, it's nice to see the the wheels so far out of the way, so you're not going to get any wheel bite unless your feet are like in ridiculous places. Let's flip it over, you can see underneath that battery pack, that battery pack, it doesn't, it doesn't take up as much room as I thought it was going to actually. The drop on this is quite subtle. Um, this is an 870 watt hour um, pack made out of 21700 cells. So this is in a 14.4 config. So that's 56 cell, 56 cells in a single layer. They've squeezed a single layer, 56 cells. Can you imagine if they just dropped, they made a version of this deck with a double stack, 14 S8P. That would be very nice. Battery is powering four motors. Obviously, um, four wheel drive is going to have less range than the two wheel drive. So these motors, there is four 3,500 watt 6384 motors. These are 170 kV each. Um, they are pretty. I've got to stop picking this board up. Ah, they are pretty big. Ah. Four of those is going to be hella fun. Um, underneath, I noticed this when I flicked it over. These trucks, they do look very nicely made. Um, these are TKP trucks. I know normally on Eastgate you're seeing a lot of DKP at the moment, and then if not DKP, you're getting RKP. Um, yeah, but these, he says, picking the bloody board up again. Some TKP trucks. So these are CNC, they're 11 inch trucks. Um, they do look really, really interesting. They've gone past the bushings, barrel, barrel. Hmm. Very nice, and oh, look at these hubs as well. Oh my they look so good. So the hubs are also a CNC. Uh, these are 60, oh, I should pump this tire up, flat tire. 60, 61 aluminium. So the board has four drive modes, L, E, S and S. Less, I don't know, that's weird. Um, I haven't looked up what they are yet, manuals buried in a pile of boxes over there. I know L, let's call it low, um, is 12.5 kilometers, no, 12.5 miles an hour, which is 20 kilometers an hour. E, probably an eco mode, 18.7 miles an hour, which is 30 kilometers an hour. S, sport, 31 miles an hour, 50 kilometers an hour, and then S plus, full speed, 37 miles per hour, which is 60 kilometers per hour. Driven by um, a Fock ESC with custom acceleration and braking curves, obviously two on the four wheel drive and one on the two wheel drive. Um, there isn't 
planning, there isn't a, an app planned for changing the curves, so how you get the board set up is how it's gonna come at the moment. All in all, for a company's first board, I don't know how many prototypes they've got through and I don't know how many builds they've done, but it's really nice to see, normally you, you get a company going, oh, we've made a, a board and it's a, you know, a carbon fiber deck that looks like an Evolve with DKP trucks that look like an Evolve and motors from the Evolve factory. And it's really nice to see someone put some thought into their first deck, design their own board. I'm loving their own trucks. Really like these hubs. The motors, okay, yeah. Everything about this is looking really nice so far. So we're gonna get out on this board. We're gonna have a proper ride and a review afterwards. I will also range test the board on the 88 um, inches and then I'll do a range test on the 115 rubber wheels. I realize this is a new product. Normally I'll just like ride it, review it. But if you have any questions or want to know more about this Ace deck, um, then drop your questions in the box below before I get out for a ride and review and I will try and get to your questions and answer them as we do the next video. I guess that's it for the quick unboxing. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to be kept up to date with this. We've got another unboxing coming up next week and then we've got some more news coming up after that too. I will see you in the next one.